Club, owners of Heidi's Flowers and More at Angels Camp. And we're here today to talk with them about some Mother's Day um, gift ideas and some flower arrangements. They'll be talking to us about some flower arrangements in actual vases and some plants that you can see behind me as well. So if Rob and Heidi want to get going on this and show us exactly what you guys have. Yeah, we've got all kinds of stuff. Um, what I'd like to start out with is the lilies, um, because my favorite flower is the lilies. And um, they last a good long time, and um, they're beautiful. So I would like to start out by pulling out some lilies here. We're going to start with the lilies. These lilies are beautiful, and they come to me from Harding Wave Flowers, my buddy Will. He gets the freshest flowers that you can get. Um, we're going to start out, and we're going to make a base, because I think they're beautiful for Mother's Day. Okay. Snip, snip. Is there, a, is there a certain way that you would recommend arranging um, a flower? I arrange them to height and, and size, and I spin the base and I look at them and I see how they fit in symmetrically. So that's basically uh, how I do it. Everybody does it a little bit differently. Cut your stems at an angle at the bottom, and uh, you want to ensure for long-lasting flowers. I'll throw one more lily in. Now, if um, they, you can make arrangements from all different sizes, is that correct? That's correct. That is correct. What would you recommend for Mother's Day? Well, the lilies have a long stalk on them, and they sit kind of tall, as you can see. So it'd be a larger arrangement. Yeah, or you can go small too. We can cut the stems off right here, and we can do something in a bowl, or we can do a lot of different stuff. Uh, they're personal flower, and, and they come three to five blooms. So when you get you know three stalks, three stems of lilies, you're going to get a whole bunch of different lilies. Right. Um, the next thing we're going to move to is uh, snaps. We've got some beautiful snaps. Snaps are really pretty. They're snapdragons. They come in different colors. They come white, yellow, yellow too. Right white, yellow, pink, uh, darker pink. Yeah, and it's a soft flower. They look, you know, it's, it's soft like mom's kisses. Uh, throw a couple of these in. And you can see just how easy these are. I've already prepped the base. and got some eucalyptus in there. So we're going more of a uh, I'm going to throw some yellow. We've got some Solidago back here. I'm going to throw some yellow in. I'm going to throw some Larkspur in. So, it'll be so it's going to put a whole bunch of different colors. So it's not exactly. Color. But it, it's, for one it's, type it's, of flower. Exactly. Which is a good thing for people to know that they don't have to stick with one type of flower like roses, which are a traditional flower just for any occasion. You can go with more um, unique type of flowers. Exactly. Exactly. Right. And I think soft is Soft. For mom, you know, mm -hmm. like soft colors, not yeah. real bright and crazy. Right. I think it also depends on what the age of the individual mom, what they like, what right. their favorite flower is. Right. That's a good point. Um, so try to find that out beforehand if you can find out what type of flower your mom likes. likes so that they can have an easier job trying to find a specific flower that they like. Advanced, do you think that the 
order should be in for people to do Mother's Day arrangements? Um, I would say for if anybody's going to do a special arrangement that they're looking for the special flowers, at least a week in advance so we can make sure that we have those flowers available. Um, two weeks would be better, but a week in advance and in a couple days so we can make sure that we have those flowers in. Right. That's taking shape nicely, huh? Yeah, I like the height to it. Oh, and that's what you have to do is vary in height. It really makes them pretty. And uh, the next one I want to talk about is belladonna. The belladonna is um, another soft flower. It's very fragile. They last a, a good while, and they add a lot of color to their arrangement. So we'll pop a few of these in. How long would a arrangement like this last? If you took care of it and gave it fresh water, if you re-clipped it and put fresh water in Two weeks, I would say, at least. Yeah, if you take care of them, they'll last for okay. That's why I like the lilies. The lilies last a good long time. And you and see a whole bunch that aren't open yet, so those will they're, open. They're going to pop open, exactly. And more of the traditional flowers for Mother's Day would be the roses. Mm -hmm. Carnations is um, one of the more traditional flowers. In fact, um, Anna Jarvis started Mother's Day 100 years ago, and she sent 500 white carnations to the church in Rainbow. So wow. that's how Mother's Day can start. So, so if you want something that's a little bit more traditional, carnations, which is a, yeah, that's a neat idea. Yeah, and and carnations come in all different, all different colors. All different. So white, pinks, reds, multicolors. <laughs> and we can mix a lot of stuff with the carnations too to make them yeah. extravagant. Great. Pretty. That is wonderful. It probably smells really, really it's nice. It's starting to smell really good. Wow. Yeah, those, and you flip this, it's got that distinct smell to it, which is wonderful. So how much would something like this cost? An arrangement like this with a base would probably be in around the $65 range, um, which is, you know, that's fair. We've got a lot of stems in here. We go by stem count and flowers.
these are beautiful logs like where would they put something like that like this one's a house plant it has a yeah. tropical house plant so it's in